Pepper Grinder is a fun, fast-paced action platformer with a charming presentation and great level design that really elevates the drilling device gameplay. After being robbed of her treasure, Pepper uses her unusual weapon to drill through all kinds of terrains and many other obstacles to get her stolen treasure back. And that's basically all there is to the story. While the story is pretty straightforward and not really the focal point of this game, the overall presentation and the fast paced gameplay are amazing and certainly the best aspect about this game. Diving in and out of the earth like a dolphin swims through water is already a fun concept. But the smooth controls, the creative level design and the variety in gameplay make it so much more special. The controls are so fluid and responsive that making sudden turns in a really tight spot is totally doable. And this is really impressive in my opinion. The world of Pepper Grinder is divided into four separate areas, each of them having a few levels and a boss fight waiting for you at the end. I'm not gonna lie, I would have loved to see at least two more areas, because a casual playthrough only took me a bit more than two hours. There is just not that much exploration in this game. You can find 5 skull coins in each level. And with these coins you can unlock hidden stages by buying gold keys for 10 coins each. You can buy cosmetics to customize your character a bit. Or you can buy more sticker book pages. So you have different backgrounds for your sticker collection. I also was really disappointed that collecting all these jewels and gems were mainly just used to buy stickers or to give you a temporary health boost. I liked the inclusion of the sticker book, but I would have loved to see a bit more meaningful rewards for collecting everything. You can also do all these time trials for each level and they were a fun challenge and add at least a few more hours to the overall game time. But the rewards for completing them were unlockable songs of this game's soundtrack, which had some pretty great songs by the way. And you guessed it, stickers again. I don't know, I just really wish the side content wasn't focused so much on sticker collecting. That's literally the only issue I have with this game. The rest of the game is really great and the most fun I had so far this year. Every single level has creative level design and exciting gameplay. There are so many gimmicks and sometimes different parts for your drill that keep the gameplay fresh and exciting. Like your drill can turn into a minigun or into a rocket launcher or you can enter this giant robot and wreak havoc for example. The four boss fights are also really enjoyable and added a bit more challenge to the overall gameplay. They weren't the most memorable fights, like their visual design was really cool, but their attacks were pretty easy to predict because none of the bosses had more than three different attacks. But they were a fun change of pace and a nice test of your skills. So in general, Pepper Grinder is a really great action platformer, but the side content leaves a lot to be desired in my opinion. The stickers are a nice touch, but I would have loved to see more hidden levels and challenges as a reward for exploring every nook and cranny of each level for example. Nevertheless, the drill mechanic and the creative level design made this game still a very memorable experience and I'm sure it will be one of the best action platformers of this year. 
a casual playthrough of this game is going to be a really enjoyable time for any kind of player. So I highly recommend to give it a try if you just would like to experience a great action platformer with butter smooth controls and a fun presentation. So be ready to spin up your trusty sidearm and drill your way through all these different levels and enemies so you can reclaim your beloved treasure.